Dewey Salam, welcome to the channel, y'all. Today we are with this little tiny JVC portable mini disc player. This is the XMPX5 from approximately the endish of 1999. Extremely light. It didn't come with any accessories whatsoever, just the device. So let's have a quick look. So we got the headphone um, socket there. We have a uh, hold, search, and then volume. Ah, uh, right, okay, so that's the hold. Okay, put it onto search. And then you can use this then to search through the tracks, or you click it one step over, and then you've got the volume control. Ah, uh, right, okay. Battery compartment there. Um, it does... It originally came with a um, separate remote control that looked like a lipstick. It was called a lipstick uh, kind of remote control. Mm. Uh, very, very light, very, very small. Uh, what have we got underneath here? MD Portable Mini Disc XMPX 5SL. Uh, 1.5 volts Victor Company of Japan, made in Japan. And the battery goes on this side. Let's open it up. Okay, it's got a nice click to it. Let's have a look inside. I can't see much, but probably you'd be able to see more inside there. There's all the electronic gubbins. Blah, blah, blah. Um, right, okay. Battery compartment on this side. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, God, I don't want to force it. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is not a good sign, is it? It's blue and fluffy. It's got fluffies and blue on it. Ugh. I can't even get that up. Properly. I think this is going to be completely knackered. There's no way that's going to survive. How the heck do you even open this up? Mm. Oh, that's a shame. I can't see much damage on the inside. Let me put my, let me get my little torch. I can't see major, oh, I can see a little bit over there. On this side, I can see a little bit of blue. Oops. I have a feeling, peeps, that this is going to be absolutely and completely knackered. Now, that battery is possibly swollen and wedged in. How on earth would you take this apart? There is a screw there. There's screws there for the top part. Yep. I know with some of these, you have to take this part off to get to the other part of it. I can see all the bits of blue falling out of it. Uh, let's see if I can extract the battery. Right, okay, we might be lucky because, to be honest, I thought that was going to be absolutely mushed on the inside. Let's have a quick, let me have a quick look down in the battery compartment. 
I'm going to have to pull away from the camera a second. Right, so there is no damage deep down inside. It all seems to be contained around this area. So, we might be lucky. Let me put down a cloth. See what I can do. There's going to be that one person that watches the video going, "Hey, don't use that! Don't use that!" Chillax, chillax, dude. Be lucky. Uh, I'm not going to be doing anything with that battery apart from recycling it, so I'm going to put that to one side and it's going to go away. this corrosion off. Now, the inside of it. Again, use an IPA. with this is either going to be shit or bust really so I, I literally paid nothing for these I didn't realize that that was the case with it yeah. let me take my bottle of IPA This end where I saw some of the blue bits of that uh, that had come out, like these bits of the oxidization or whatever it is. So gently clean in the back, and I'm going to put. In that tiny little lens ever so gently it's very fragile Right, I'm going to leave this dry and I'm going to clean it again. Make sure that I've got out every bit of that blue corrosion. Because it's everywhere. Okay, we'll leave it dry. And we'll come back to it in a few minutes. 
Okay, so I've left it for a while and it seems to be all dry. This catch as well seems to be, it's still a bit stiff, but it's, it's, um, it's better than what it was, so I can open it quite easily. Uh, let's pop in a battery, a little gun stick. Okay. Let's pop in a disc. Let me hear. Oh. Oh, I can hear something. Let's try. Uh, let me just turn on the speaker. And let's press play. Oh, I can hear it. Yay! Hang on. Uh, search. Right, it doesn't seem to be playing in order. But it's playing. Let me skip to the song that I normally use. Yeah, it's definitely on um, on random. There's no option to change it, and, and I don't have the control for it. Try it with headphones and I dug out, I was looking for an adapter and I dug out and I found my uh, Bang & Olufsen headphones. I haven't used these for years, I'd completely forgotten I had them. And I remember I bought them one of the first times we went to um, Australia and I bought them in Dubai. Um, every time I go to Dubai or, you know, when we stop off, if we fly into Australia, I'll treat myself to something. So these are Bang & Olufsen and I think I paid a, 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 at least 150 quid for them um, years ago when I was working. Let's put them on so they kind of like fit over your ear and then they, that mechanism. It's just so sweet. Uh, right, okay, let me put them on my ears. Well, there we go. That was a mega surprise. I did not think we would get that clean, uh, sorry, working at all. Um, I've cleaned it all. I used some of my V36 polish very lightly and it took off a lot of dirt. Didn't get rid of all the scratches, but it did get rid of a lot of the um, surface dirt that was ingrained on it. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is metal, not plastic. Um, and that's come up really good. I, like I said, I genuinely, so when I saw the battery on that and the inside of it, I was like, that's never gonna work. And there we go. It is working and it sounds really good. Now, I've had a look online. I went through eBay and some other places and I cannot find the um, connector for it with the control because it's kind of wedged on shuffle. Um, and I can't control, for example, the, um, the the base level on it and all that kind of stuff. I can't control any of that, unfortunately. But it is working, so I'm very happy. 
that looks like it was the battery uh, holder that you fitted on and screwed on it so you could use um, a double A battery. But to be honest, just to have it working is fantastic. I'm really chuffed with that. It's really smart, very, very small. It's not so light. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, and it just, it sounds really good. I've been using my headphones on it. I'd forgotten how good these were, to be honest. And it really is lovely to you. So I am chuffed that this works. So that was an absolute bargain because it was sold as um, not working. And uh, yeah, so there we go, guys. That is my little mini disc from JVC working lovely this time. I will be oh, that is a bit stiff, but that's not so bad. Take the battery out this time. There we go, and put that in a little case. And I will be using this as well on and off. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed. Really nice. Thank you for watching. Um, these videos, again, I don't have a kind of like huge, massive knowledge of how to fix them or whatever. So if they were to break, I wouldn't have a clue apart from just cleaning it up. So I'm glad that it's working. Anyway, I'm waffling on. I'll see you guys in the next episode.